In this video, we're going to check out the JotForm AI chatbot that you can add to your website. It can handle your customer requests, not just on the content of your website, but also with WooCommerce. It can give your customers assistance with finding products, finding prices, calculating costs of an overall order, even adding stuff to their cart so they can check out easily. It'll also tell your customers real-time status updates when they request them. It'll even manage refunds in the near future. And the JotForm AI chatbot can do so much more. We'll cover that at the end of the video so you can see what's possible with your JotForm account. And best of all, you can get started for free. It's not a free trial, it's free forever. The only time you have to upgrade is if you have to increase your limits for something. So it's well worth checking out. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and let's get started. This is just a demo website, it's not actually real, but the concept still applies for your busy e-commerce store. Let's install JotForms AI chatbots and help take some of the pressure off of you and your team for customer support on the front end of your e-commerce store. Now the first thing we should do is get a JotForm account. Let's go to JotForm.com. I have to go incognito because I'm currently signed into my JotForm account in the other browser. If we click on pricing, I'll show you the free account. It's on the left hand side here. It's very generous. And for the AI limits, we can have five AI agents, 100 monthly conversations, 10,000 monthly sessions, 50 minutes of voice call. We're not going to get into that in this video, but people can talk to your AI agents on the phone, which is pretty awesome. 250 monthly SMS or text messages and 10 million characters in the knowledge base. Sweet. If you upgrade to the pay plans, you get more stuff as always. So before we install this on your site, let's get the free chatbot. Click on get started, enter your email address, sign up for an account. Again, it's free. So just sign up. Once you're signed up, we can go into our WordPress site and then we go to plugins and we click on add plugin. And here we look for JotForm AI chatbot. The one we want is up here in the top left, created by JotForm. Click on install now. If you're installing this on a live website, you might want to back up your site first just in case something goes wrong. It's pretty rare these days, but if something does go wrong, it's great to have a backup. There's a link in the description to help you with that if you need help. Click on activate when you're ready. Nice helpful link right here. Create AI chatbot. Let's click on that. Let's close out of this. It's just describing the plugin that we're installing right now. Click on let's start. And here, if you're signed in to your free JotForm account, you're going to get this message to allow you to connect to it. If you don't have a JotForm account yet, it's going to ask you to make one right here. Click on allow to connect your JotForm account to your WordPress site. And the reason we have to connect to JotForm is because we can create a lot of our AI agent inside of WordPress, but we can do even more inside of JotForm with that AI agent or that AI chatbot. So here we want to describe the AI agent we want to create. And you want to be as detailed as possible because this is basically the job description of your chatbot. I had ChatGPT help me with a thorough description based on the type of website that we have here. You can also just click these buttons here and it gives a little bit of a description of each of these things or you can write your own but try to be specific. That way you have to do less tweaking later on. Click on create AI chatbot once you have that done. This just takes a few moments to create and on this page we pick our avatar. This is the person that's going to be in the top left area of our chat box and in various other places. All the avatars they have are really presentable, really depends on what fits with your market. I'm going to choose this lady right here. They all have names. Her name is Sophie. And if you want this to be even more personalized, you can create your own AI avatar, even a clone of yourself to be on this AI chatbot here. Here you can change their name. I'll keep it as it is. Here we can change their role to make it a little more specific. Travel customer service agent. Pick a default language. There's a bunch to choose from. Not all languages in the world, but there's still a lot. For tone of voice, we have casual, professional, and friendly as options. I almost always choose friendly. This can be changed in the future. Everything we set in here can be changed in the future. So if you find your chatbot is behaving in a way that you don't like, you can tweak that. I'm just going to keep that on friendly. The greeting message is, hi, how can I assist you? And that appears when this chat box is a little circle and this little message pops up. We'll see a preview of that in just a minute. For the chattiness, we have options of minimal, short, long, and chatty. For example, for minimal, if you ask, what's the duration of this tour package? It'll say 11 days. For chatty, it might say, this tour package is 11 days. And you might also be interested in these other tour packages that are also 11 days, and they're also in the same country where you're going. And they just give more information that minimal doesn't. 
I think I'm going to start on short. This is something that can also be tweaked later. So don't feel like this is all written in stone. For chat guidelines, we have these as guidelines. These are by default set up in here. Your main goal is to help users discover and book tours smoothly. Respond quickly with accurate tour details and pricing. Be friendly, clear, and professional in all interactions. Guide users through the booking steps without friction. Offer relevant recommendations based on user preferences. Provide real-time availability and policy information. Escalate to a human agent when issues arrive or complex help is needed. That sounds really good. And these were created based on the description we provided. If you want to add more guidelines, just click on Add New. Describe the guideline here, and it's applied to your chatbot. I'll delete that one because I'm happy with the ones it created. Now let's go over to Agent Style. We can change all the colors over here to match our brand or to contrast with our brand so it stands out. To make your life easy, you can pick a color scheme and be off to the races, or you can customize everything in detail down here. I think I'll choose this one right here. I'm going to change the background color for the agent. That's at the top right here. I'm going to make that orange. And the end color, I will make uh, I don't know, kind of yellowy. That looks pretty cool. So you have a nice gradient back there if you choose two different colors for these. The chat background color is this main body area. I'm going to keep that as it is. You can change the font family, the chat theme color, which is the text and the icons down here. And we have button style colors, which is this button right here. It's kind of like a, I don't know, really dark blue or dark purple. Customize that how you need it. With the free version, you're going to have powered by Jot Form at the bottom. If you want to get rid of that, you have to upgrade to a paid version. For visibility, the layout I'm going to choose, let's see, what's extended? So this is where, if I go to minimal, it shows, hi, how can I assist you? That's the greeting message we had earlier that we can turn off if we want. And extended provides even more information. And I kind of like this one because it pops up. It's trying to be helpful. Maybe the tours and destinations are confusing. And this is a clear indication that this AI agent is here to help. Then you choose which side of the page, left or right. This example here is a little bit skinny, but it would be on the far left corner of the page or the far right corner of the page. You can choose which devices it will be visible on. I'm going to choose all devices. The advanced visibility allows you to limit where this chatbot appears. And you can also do the opposite. You can hide the chatbot when a URL or a page meets certain criteria. So for example, URL starts with category, click on add. This will prevent the chatbot from appearing on category pages. Or maybe your blog is set up to have blog at the beginning of the URL, right after the domain name, then it won't appear there. Maybe you want to show on specifically URLs that start with products, which could be your WooCommerce store or shop. And maybe on a specific page like uh, the trip types page. And then we have both of those criteria set up. So it's going to show on these. It's not going to show on these. This allows you to get very specific about where this chatbot should appear. I'm just going to have it appear everywhere for the sake of this video. On the knowledge base tab, we train the chatbot. Because we installed the chatbot directly onto WordPress, it's gone out and learned a bit about the website, which is pretty cool. To add more knowledge, click on add new knowledge. The Add Knowledge tab up here allows you to add text directly into this box and then save that as, as knowledge for your agent. You can upload documents right here to train your agent. You can crawl URLs and you can provide questions and answers. So if there's questions you know people are going to ask, you can provide the question here and the answer here. And it doesn't have to be exactly what people ask, just in the ballpark. AI is going to be able to understand what the question means. And if someone phrases that question differently, but it still means the same thing, it's going to provide this answer or a paraphrase of it. My preferred one for this style of website is crawl URL. And I can give it specific URLs that I want it to learn on. So if I go out to the website here and I go to the different destinations, for example, I can copy this URL, train our chatbot on that. Down here, it shows agent trained on this date and time on this URL. I can go to each individual trip. These trips have a lot of information on them. As you can see, there's lots with itinerary, costs, FAQs, and everything. So I want to train it on that. I want to make sure I have every piece of knowledge that the AI chatbot needs so that it can provide the best possible answers to our visitors. There it is right there. 
So I'm going to go through and add a bunch of URLs just like that to train our chatbot properly. And then we're going to test it out and see how it works. I'm all done. I've added all the URLs of what I wanted to train the chatbot on. I'm going to go over here and click on publish. You can go preview first, but I'm going to go right to the business and click on publish. Let's go to the front end. Just take a look at the chatbot really quick before we integrate the WooCommerce store. There she is in the bottom corner. How may I assist you today? What is your website for? Let's see if it knows that. Booking, exploring, handpicked adventure and travel tours. It's pretty good. Can I book directly on the website? Yes, please help me find a specific tour. What type of tour destination you're interested in? Oh, let's do Europe. We have featured Paris Eiffel Tower tour in France, lasting five hours for one to 10 people. Is that true? Let's find out. France. Eiffel Tower one day tour. So let's scroll down and see if this is true, what she's saying. The group size is one to 10. Sweet. And the length is five hours. So those things are accurate. Would you like details? Uh, let's see, details please. Ah, oh, there's a, mostly details you already gave me. We're not gonna proceed with booking right now because I wanna show you how to integrate WooCommerce first, but that's pretty cool. We didn't do very much work and Sophie already knows about at least the Eiffel Tower tour trip and I'm sure she knows all the others too because she trained on this website. So let's integrate WooCommerce and then we'll come back and see if we can book something. Let's head back into the dashboard then let's scroll all the way down till we find the Jotform AI chatbot. Hover over that, then click on settings. Then go to WooCommerce. Here we have to enter the consumer key and the consumer secret, which is gonna come from our WooCommerce settings. So let's go to WooCommerce and then settings. I command click to open that in a new tab. Go to advanced, go to REST API, click on create an API key. Give it a description, choose a user, Choose permissions, you keep those as default. Click on generate API key. Here's a consumer key and the consumer secret. Let's copy each one at a time. Consumer key goes in here and the consumer secret goes in here. After this video, I'm gonna delete this API key. You don't want people to see your API keys because with this information, they can access the API for your store, which you probably don't want. Luckily, you can easily click on revoke key and that'll revoke a key. You can make a new one and then everything's tickety-boo again. And we're connected. So now what the chatbot can do is it can find products for us. It can recommend products. It can add products to cart. It can show order status. And in the future, it can even manage refunds. Let's try this out. Let's go to the Paris Eiffel Tower tour. Let's refresh. I've added some more solid pricing. Before it was just a thousand dollars, I think, for, for everything. But now I've added some pricing. And let's see if Sophie, our Jotform AI chatbot, can help us figure out a tour to Paris to see the Eiffel Tower. There's a bunch of chat history here because I've been chatting with the AI just to play around with it and to pull up the Paris Eiffel Tower tour prices, which are currently set up here, 15,000 for an adult. 14,500 for a child, 3,000 for a senior. Got all that right. Let's see if it can quote us a price if we have multiple of those people coming with us. So I said two adults, three kids, and two grandparents to change the language from child and senior to see if it can figure out what I meant. I think it probably can. So it worked out the price. Um, I don't know if that's exactly correct, but I think it's in the ballpark for sure. I feel like it's missing 500 because three kids, this would be a 1500 right here, but we're missing the 500, but it's definitely in the ballpark. Let's see if you can give us some prices on some other tours. We're currently on the Paris Eiffel Tower page, but can it give us information about other pages that we're not on? I know there's a tour to Everest on this website to Everest. Let's see if we can pull that up. Yep. And here are the prices. Let's open that in a new tab. See if those prices are right. I think it's on this page here. Everest Base Camp Trek. 350 for an adult, 150 for a kid, 175 for a senior. Got that right. Pretty cheap trip, if you ask me. Much cheaper than going to Paris. Let's quote a price for the same as the Paris one. Two adults, three kids, two seniors. Be 13, 
50. This price is also a little lower than it should be, so there must be a discrepancy in how I have my WooCommerce set up. Because it's pretty simple math for the AI, so it must be something on my end I don't have set up correctly based on these prices here. Anyway, let's see if Sophie can add these guys to our cart. Can you add those details to my cart? Let's see what she says. So it says she can't add those details to my cart. That's likely because in order to book something on this website, you have to check availability. You have to pick a date in the calendar and a time, and then you say how many people you want, like so, then you proceed to check out. So it's probably, for that reason, not something she can do because of all those buttons. But on a regular WooCommerce site where you have just simple products that don't have need availability checks and stuff like that, you can add the products to your cart. And this AI basically knows everything about your store. And pretty soon it can even manage refunds and show order status, which is pretty awesome. And so far we've seen only what's available for the settings inside of WordPress. If you go over to JotForm, there's a whole new world available. Go to your main JotForm account and then open the AI agent that you're working on. Here we can build it, customize it, add all kinds of integrations, including WhatsApp, Gmail, Instagram, voice, phone. You can train it. We saw that in the website. You can set conditions for replies and tasks. So you can tell your agent what to do in, a, in specific situations. So if we are in a chatbot channel and a user asks about skateboards, we can answer. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. What can we answer? There's lots of different options you can use. But basically we want to answer saying we don't sell skateboards. You can give an exact message to show. This is be very useful for controversial topics. You don't want people talking to a chatbot about weird things. You could ask it just to don't talk and don't mention. You can give an exact message like that's not something I know about or whatever. Either way, you can set custom actions. Under tools, these are integrations that you can do with your chatbots. You can integrate with Shopify. You can display PDFs, you can show videos, you can show images, you can show a list of items, show presentations, show locations, send emails, send WhatsApp messages, book appointments with Calendly, send Google Calendar appointments, send stuff to Google Drive, show a QR code, send messages via Slack, push notifications, jot form boards to organize your work, collect payments, create tickets, sell items. There's so much. There's so much. With a bit of time and creativity, you might be able to automate a lot of your customer interactions with this chatbot. You can create forms. These forms will be something like, let's do job application. We create the job application form, and then the chatbot will walk through the form with the customer and fill it out for them instead of having a boring form. I'm not going to go into detail. The AI chatbot can help you fill out this form in this video. There are videos on the JotForm YouTube channel that will show you how this works, and it's super neat. I could see this being very helpful to a lot of different companies and universities and other types of programs people apply for where the AI agent can help them fill out the forms. And that's all the options inside of an agent, in this case, Sophie, our travel agent. There's even more you can check out in the main JotForm dashboard. There's templates for all sorts of things, integrations, even more than we saw a moment ago. all kinds of different products. I believe most of these are also part of the free JotForm account. You have to upgrade to increase your limits and even to get access to some of these things. But the stuff you can do with JotForm is amazing. This AI chat mother put on the website that integrates with WooCommerce is just the beginning. So I highly encourage you to come and check them out. Start with the free account, see if it works for your business. Upgrading to a paid account is not that much per month when you think of how much this can help you in your business. And I think using the free account and seeing what it can do will prove to you how valuable JotForm is. Anyhow, check it out. There's a link in the description down below. If you got value from this video, make sure you like and subscribe to let me know. Then check out this video on the screen right now, which is all about speeding up your website because you want to make sure that your visitors are happy when they visit your site. And a fast site equals happy visitors. So check out that video and I'll see you there.